live. It's live. Okay, I'm gonna wait for people to come. This is the most awkward moment when you're like waiting for people to arrive. <laughs> Hello. Um, I'm just waiting for people to arrive. So just, can you join? Yes, please join. Join me. I'm just waiting for some people to to arrive. So just take your time. Um, so basically, this live today is happening on Instagram and on Facebook. So I have two phones with me. So. So, um, it might be that I my my eyes are like going like this a bit because I <laughs> I'm like talking to two cameras there next to each other, but I still feel a bit weird when I can actually see comments coming from both uh, screens. Um, so hello everybody. Yes, people are joining joining me here. Uh, I hope you can hear me. I hope you can see me really well. Uh, <laughs> I love people starting to talk to me immediately. So basically today I just really wanted to just talk to you and spend some time with you because I have been away for the whole beginning of this year. And I hope English is fine. I hope you understand uh, what I'm talking about. And uh, I, I try to do something in Finnish as well, just in case. Um, so welcome everybody. I just wanted to really like just talk to you because I've been traveling. I've been away. I've had a little holiday. Um... So I have not been on social media for a while because I've needed some time on my own. And Ihana Tapetti, somebody is, is, is saying I have a very lovely wallpaper behind me. So actually this is my own room and nobody has seen this yet. So you are the first people ever to see my my room. <laughs> I have my own room. Neri has her own room as well. And this wallpaper is from Beep Studios, Peep, P I P Studios, and I've been dreaming about these wallpapers for for years, and now finally I was brave enough to put it on my wall. It's really like happy and 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 lovely, and I I just really love it. Um, because it makes me feel very creative, creative, like I, I feel like I want to, to be drawing and writing songs and everything. So I, I really, I really love it and I feel very inspired. Um, and actually I have a, a little sofa here next to me and the, the blanket is also the same as the wallpaper. Mm. Sorry, I'm gonna see. Okay, now. Um. So, people, um, I'm in Finland at the moment and I'm all safe here. I hope you are safe as well. Um, and <laughs> there's so many people watching. Hello. Um, oh, it looks really nice. Somebody's saying thank you very much. I really love it. Um, so I'm in Finland practicing for We Will Rock You, the musical. And I know you are all like quite confused about what's gonna happen to the musical and even we don't know yet basically we uh we are still waiting for uh to to get some information so let's not worry about it at the moment okay the musical will happen anyway at some point and we will really hope it's gonna be very soon uh so anyway finland is now closed and i can't get away not that i would want to get away um but I mean, like like all the countries now, we need to take care of our safety and health and spend some time at home. Uh, so, are you people? Are you at home as well? Are you are you safe at home? I hope you are. Um, and you are you are talking to me a lot, uh, but I have prepared something for you. Some some things that I want to talk to you 
uh, about and I hope you are there and, and listening. Um, I even wrote something on my laptop because I really want to talk to you. We haven't been talking in, in, in ages. Um, yeah, all schools and colleges are closed. People are, ad are advised to stay at home as much as possible. So I think this is happening everywhere in the world. Um, so do you think UK should be on lockdown? I think every, every, every like it's so important for us to, to now take care of ourselves and not to go around and, and make people sick because who knows, maybe, you know, you can get the virus and, and then you think, uh, you, you, you're healthy but you're not you know it's very important to to stay safe um now that we have lots of time to spend at home it's it's actually it's really interesting what happens to to our minds at least my mind is is struggling because i'm i feel like wow well now i have lots of time to to spend with myself i have lots of time to to do things that i've wanted to do for for ages but i've been too busy and now i i want to just you know be creative but at the same time i feel worried or i i feel like oh like of course i'm worried about the world i'm worried about uh my my job my work and everybody and so it's it's a struggle to find uh the balance and what I'm trying to do, what and I and what I think is the best uh, way to to really spend this time is to to learn and study something. And I don't mean like studying school books, but like learning something new and uh, reading books. That's what I've been doing a bit, and and um, just to spend time with my family, which I haven't really done in the last four years. Um, or painting or, or drawing actually I'm gonna show you what I've been drawing <laughs> this is something I learned in Thailand I'm drawing Zen Dallas they're like um, uh, pictures where you kind of fill them with different structures and then color them I actually maybe I, I'll teach you how to draw these maybe next time <laughs> um, and there's one book that I've been reading, um, this one, and it's called Super Attractor Methods for Manifesting a Life Beyond Your Wildest Dreams. And there's actually a funny story about this, oh, not funny, but um, because I believe the universe and the world and life is always leading us to right places at, at right times and uh, uh, there is one podcast that I'm listening to called On Purpose by Jay, Jay Shetty. Do you know it? It's on Spotify. It's so good. And uh, so Jay is, is interviewing people, different, different people, uh, all quite spiritual or interested in self-development and he was interviewing Gabrielle this this woman here and when we flew to Thailand in January I was listening to the podcast and I was like I really loved her ideas of life and I was like oh, yeah I would recommend this one somebody's asking uh, could you give us the title oh sorry now I, I missed that well anyway so um uh, we were we were flying to Thailand and I was listening to this podcast on purpose where Jay was interviewing this lady and I was like oh my god that is such a good uh such a good interview such an interesting uh lady I want to read this book but then we went to Thailand and I forgot about it then when I came back from Thailand um I just accidentally found this book in Finland even though it's not even translated into Finnish it was just uh, I was in Mina Olen Mesu. I was in an exhibition called I Am, like a spiritual uh, exhibition uh, thing in Finland. And this book was just on the table there on sale. And I was like, oh my God, that is the book. That is the lady. And I really want to read that book because I was listening to the podcast and I bought it. But then I forget about it. I forgot about it. I just left the book on the shelf and I, you know, did something else. 
and and then last week yeah I was driving to rehearsals and I was I was like I need to listen to something while I'm driving and I listened to the podcast again and I was like oh my god I, this is such a good podcast I need to read this book now because I have it and I've been reading it and it's so interesting uh and um there's something I want to share you about it um actually I wrote it down here emotional guidance scale and it's I know you can't really read it um, but it's really interesting it's like there is a list of emotions from worst to best in a way how they make you feel and yeah the name of the book is somebody's asking super attractor <laughs> so anyway the list of emotions and these are the worst, uh, like fear, grief, desperation. And then it goes step by step to a better emotion. And the, the best one is a joy, freedom, love. So there is like a huge scale of emotions. You can Google this actually. It's called Emotional Guidance Scale. Um, and what I'm going to do now from this day on, if I feel bad or if I feel worried I'm gonna just check this scale and see where I'm at like today I didn't feel good I felt worried so it's worry is number 14 so if I know I'm number 14 at the moment I can then try to get a bit further up so basically, if I want to start feeling better, I'm like, okay, now I'm at 14. Oh, what could I do to make myself feel a bit better? Let's say boredom. <laughs> Even boredom is better than feeling worried or feeling hopeful. Hopeful is good at this moment. You know, when you maybe you are not good enough to feel passion or love or freedom, but maybe you can feel hopeful. That's really good. So trying to find ways to to go a bit further on this scale and could you, like what would you do this, at this time to 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 feel better i'm really trying to <laughs> to to know and and find ways of of to feel better because it's it's quite hard when when your mind is here like in doubt in worry in blame in discouragement in anger in in, in fear, jealousy, rage, you have all these feelings and then trying to take a step further and it's actually, it's interesting because I would, I, I sometimes you don't really put these bad emotions in, in, into order but here it's, it's really interesting to kind of see that being worried is actually better than anger or actually rage is better than fear, you know, just to understand that we have all these feelings going through in our mind all the time. But at this moment, trying to feel a bit better could maybe make your day a bit better. Um, so anyway, this scale was really interesting um, to, to kind of learn. So I really, really recommended the, the book and Google Emotional Guidance Scale. Yeah. Um, any questions? Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm reading a bit. Oh, you were just, I love your messages. <laughs> I thought actually I would, um, sing you something a bit later. Hey, baby. <laughs> It's so funny when you some some of you are on Instagram, some of you are on Facebook. <laughs> um, and so basically, I've been going through. Oh, that's so funny! Me and I saying, "Oh, happy you have found the law of attraction." Actually, I've been a fan of law of attraction for the last ten years, so it's I um it's such a 
such an interesting th thing to to think that your emotions attract uh, things basically if you feel happy you attract happy things and uh, I don't think you can find the, the book in uh, Finnish but if you want to read something similar I would recommend The Secret which is Salaisus in Finnish it's such a good book um, oh I'm glad you like my lipstick <laughs> pink um, and somebody mentioned you might be interested in Abraham Hicks uh, book and I actually have it here with me where is it? this is my next book that I'm gonna read Buddha Nisa. Ask and you shall receive. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, what was I saying? Yes, so um, so basically at the moment, now that I have some time and I've had a holiday, I'm just trying to take time to figure out what I want to do next. Basically, I I've had amazing four years behind me. I can't believe it's been four years since No Fear. Um, yeah, somebody's asking what is what what are my future plans? I wish I knew. Um, it's it's like I've ha I've had amazing four years, and I've been so busy. I've been around the world and. It's been crazy good and it's been crazy busy and I feel like it's all happened so quickly. Like they're, they're, they've been the quickest four years ever. And at the moment I feel like I need some time to get inspired again. Because I just don't want to do something for you that I'm not completely excited about and I really want to take some time to think what is my next step and I think the most important thing for me is to I feel like I'm having a bit of a crisis at the moment it's like a identity crisis you know um I don't I won't stop singing don't worry about that but I have just found it really interesting that when you say to people all the time that I'm a singer, I'm a singer, I'm Sarah, I'm a singer, I'm a singer, you start to block yourself. If if a person repeats and says, I am this, I am this, I am this, I am this, then you kind of just think that you are just that and you are in a box. And I don't like boxes. <laughs> And so I feel like at the moment there's so much creativity that wants to come out. Like I want to draw, I want to write a book, I want to teach actually. I feel like I, I miss teaching I, and whatever teaching is, you know, I just want to share things. Uh, and not only by singing, but, but, but doing, by doing something else as well. And I feel feel like I, I'm struggling with it because I feel like if I do something else than singing are people gonna be listening to my singing anymore? Am I gonna lose something? It's it's and I know it's not true, it's not like I would lose singing if I do something else. Um it's just really interesting and I'm trying to learn how my mind works and and no, I'm not going to stop singing. No. <laughs> oh, you have never been just a singer. Oh, thank you. And, and I know you know that. You are my fans. You know that I love to do many different things. Hey, Minna. Oh, all my friends from Turkey are listening. <laughs> That's so nice. So, but you know what? This world is so easily kind of like putting us in boxes. And and they say, oh, if you if you do this, you can only do this. At least I think in fin in Finland, it's quite, uh, it's quite a lot like that. I feel like in let's say in 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 the UK or in America, you know, singers they can also be hosts. They can host TV shows. They can do, write books. They can do this and this and this and this. And um, 
Oh, we want to come to Alanya very soon. <laughs> when we can travel again. Um so um so it's like it's interesting trying to to find what I actually want to do and and what I did actually what I did today. I um I used my angel cards to give me some guidance. I don't know, have you have you ever used angel got cards? I think I got my first angel pack of got cards where when was it? Maybe ten years ago. And it's a it's a beautiful uh pack of cards. Um I'll show you quickly. So basically um there's so many cards and you kind of connect to your heart and ask guidance from angels basically and you choose a card here so <laughs> today I chose two cards and both of them had the exact same message same message both of them and the card said timing is not perfect Wait, wait a little, study more before you make a decision. And I was, <laughs> I was a bit in shock because I was like, oh my God, both of the cards said the same thing. And what happened next was Mary came to me and said, oh, can I pick a card as well? She took a card, a third one, and it said, Time is not perfect. You have to wait a little bit and study more. Exactly the same thing. It wasn't the same card. Three different cards, but exactly same meaning. And I was like, oh my God, my angels are really talking to me. They're really saying, wait, wait, wait. Then Mary took took a fourth, fourth card. And, and the fourth card said... It's time to let go and us angels, we will help you with your grief and sadness. So take time to be sad and, you know, let go of things. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, it's, it's, it's so interesting uh, how, how universe is now telling me just to wait and also letting go of my past. It's so important because you know when you do a big thing like like a thing like X Factor UK, it's such a big thing. You you kind of get attached to it emotionally, and you are like, this is this this thing will define me, and I will always be Sabra from X Factor, which is amazing. But you know when it's been three years, you kind of want to renew yourself you want to be new you want to get yourself out of that box and do something else and uh, whatever it will be and I just feel like it's time for me really to take a next step and do something even better even better and I just need a little bit of time to figure out what, what, what that is. What is the next step? And also admitting to myself that I am a bit of a workaholic. And I never thought there was something bad about it. I just thought I love to work and it's fine. But actually addiction is addiction, you know, you can, you know, if your addiction is to use drugs or alcohol or whatever, it can be a lot of things. I, I have a little bit of problem with, with work and because when I don't have work, I feel like, oh my God, I need to work. I need to do something. So there's many things that I want to learn about myself and uh, if there is something good about corona it is that we all have time to think about our lives what do we want to do how do we want to what is the next step what is the next step for all of us because life is about growing and following your heart 
and it's so difficult when you have media around you and everybody saying you should do this you should do this you should you should do this. If you do this, you are cool. If you do this, you are you will be rich. If you do this, you will be something or something. And um, how, like how do, how can you how can you hear your voice? How can you hear your voice when when everything is coming to you from from the outside world? And that's what I want to figure out even better. And I want you to figure out that as well. Somebody saying, it would be lovely if you had your own podca podcast where you would share these thoughts. That is actually something that I really, really would want to do. I've been listening to podcasts and I'm like, I really want to have my own podcast. I want to talk to to people about all these things. Uh <laughs> I love you. You're saying you are not gonna get rid of us, Sarah. We will support you, whatever you do. Oh, that is so nice. I really love you. Mm. Um, so I but but this is me. I'm workaholic, and I'm like, oh, I want to do a podcast. I want to write a book. I want to do this and this and this. I, I, yeah, I really need to decide, but the angel card said, take your time, take your time, study, prepare yourself. Um, but what would be really helpful, actually, if you would want me to have a podcast or if you would want me to write a book, please tell me what would be helpful to you? How can I help you? How... What are the things you would want me to talk about? Like, just write me on Instagram or Facebook. Just send me messages and list. Give me a list of things that you would want. What do you want from me? What do you want to hear from me? And I will be inspired. <laughs> Definitely, if you send me those messages. And hopefully in the future I will... Make your dreams come true. <laughs> oh. Meri tuu käymään täällä. Ihmiset haluaa nähdä sut. Ihmiset! <laughs> she heard. Father wants to see her. Um, um, so sorry, somebody had a good question here. Where is it? No. <laughs> oh, it's Barbara asking. Are you learning how to cook? Actually, yes, I actually I am learning to to cook and make food because that is not my strength. But um, I really want to do the do it as well because Mary is always doing and making the food for us, and I think it's a bit unfair. It's unfair that she's always doing it. So, oh, your dating experience, how to find the one? That is a good question, and there is. A lot that I would really want to talk to you about it because honestly I have actually manifested all my my partners to my life it's like it's incredible so oh somebody's saying laula van a mother but I want to do many things so anyway yes I would love to talk about how to find your perfect partner uh, Please write those down to, to, to my message, uh, to the inbox, so I can remember them. Hey, maybe she's coming in a minute. Hopefully. Um, I think she's getting ready. She didn't prepare for this. Come and say hello, because people... Oh, and Lily as well. People want to see you. <gasps> hello. Lily. Are we you? are cooking. Okay, what are you doing? Organic chicken soup. Chicken soup. Nice. Have you heard Six the Musical? Yes, I have watched. I, I, I saw it. it. It's so good. It's so good. I really love it. And um, I would really love to do it one day. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions for Mary? Now is your moment. No, I have to go because my soup is... <laughs> Oops. Well, anyway, she's saying hello. Hello, Please everybody. Hello. <laughs> so you're not listening to my 
live? No. <laughs> Good. Good. I was a bit worried she would be listening and she would be like, oh my god. Oh, somebody's saying, jos et ole tutus Ilkka Rajalaa, niin suosittelen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know Ilkka Rajala and I've been listening to him and, and Mary actually said to me that I should maybe see him and talk to him. Maybe he could mentor me because I feel like I need some, I would, um, I, I, I need, I need some help, you know, like all of us, like, uh, like I need a mentor. I need, I, I want to talk to wise people and, um, feel better. Um, Oh yes, oh yes, I, there's one thing I want to talk to you about. Oh my god, this was amazing. Oh, it tells so much about me. So, <laughs> if you want to learn more about me. So, <clears throat> in February, I went to a weekend course called Saamita Haluat, which means get what you want. And in the beginning of the, it's like a weekend seminar. In the beginning of the seminar, we did a thing called a passion test. It's by Janet Atwood. Passion test. You can find it. It's a book. Uh, it's a test where you find your passions. And I was so excited to do that test because I was like, okay, I have actually fulfilled all my dreams. I have achieved everything that I always wanted to achieve since I was a little child. Now I need to find new ambitions, new dreams, new passions. What do I want to do? So I was really excited to do this passion test. And something really interesting happened. In the test, you write 10 things that make you happy. It's it's a bit complicated to explain, but you kind of feel this sentence that says, My life is ideal when. My life is ideal when. And then you write it down. And you just kind of write whatever comes to your mind. So I wrote like, My life is ideal when I'm writing this book that will change people's lives. Or... Uh, um, Uh, my life is ideal when um, I will write a perfect song for a Disney movie or something, whatever. And, you know, so I would I, I would list these things down. And then the second thing I listed was my life is ideal when I feel I, I feel present, calm and loved inside of me. And I was, I'm, I, that was the second thing I wrote. Then I wrote all the others. And in the end I had ten. And, oh, people, don't go. Somebody, somebody has to go. I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing soon. <laughs> anyway, I want, to, I want to tell you this story. Um, so, when I had written down all those ten things, I was like, mm, I don't like number two. It says, my life is ideal when I feel um, present, calm and loved. I don't like that. It's, it's, it's boring. It doesn't lead me anywhere. You know, it's not doing something. It's, it's just like uh, feeling something. And I was about to take it away. I was like, eh, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take that. But then something said in, in inside my heart said okay okay no, no leave it there leave it there so what happened later on in the passion test you start to compare your your 10 things and you start to put them in order you have to find what is your biggest passion what is the 10th what is ninth what is eighth what is the first one and after the the whole practice my first passion in life was to feel present calm and loved and I couldn't believe it because that was the one that I was about to take away because it wasn't doing something Janet Atwood Janet that was the name of the author and I was crying when I was doing the practice because I realized when I compared feeling calm and loved 
to writing a book, I I always, always chose feeling loved and calm over everything else that I wrote down, and I never thought that would happen. And it really, really made me understand that at this moment of my life, I don't need to write a book. I don't need to write songs. I don't need to create a podcast. What I need the most is to feel calm, loved, and present in the moment. And it's really interesting. And my my workaholism is really fighting against it. I'm like, no, my first priority needs to be working, needs to be writing songs, needs to be writing a book. It's like, no, my heart tells me that my first priority is to feel calm and loved. And I need to do everything that I can to feel that. Because if I feel calm and loved, then everything else will follow. I'm going to be writing so many songs. I'm going to be writing so many books when I feel loved and calm. And I know it. I know it. But it's so difficult for me to let go of work and doing, doing, doing. No. Hey, Lottalina. <laughs> so many people listening. That's so nice. So I feel like this spring is going to be... <sighs> When I say it loud, you know, then it's going to become true. This spring will be the spring of love. You wouldn't, you wouldn't maybe believe that because we have Corona. We have, you know, the world is going crazy, but we need to just stay in love, stay in calmness, stay in present moment and enjoy and be joyful, be joyful. Honestly, I'm going back to this book, Super Attractor. This is all about you get what you want when your first priority is joy. Joy, joy, joy. Mm. And too often I feel stressed. Too often I feel tired and that I need to push something I need to work and push 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 no Mm -mm. it's done now I've done it and 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 I'm so glad I have all of you with me the spring of love yes (laughs) that is that is the theme right people we do that together and yes I love you people liking my wallpaper because I was really nervous actually to put it on and when people you know, when my friends uh, have been here and I'm like, this is my new room and my new wallpaper. I'm like, oh my God, it's a bit weird. No, I love it. It makes me feel very creative. It's time to sing. It's time to sing, people. Um, I got one request that I'm going to do today. And uh, by the way, by the way, you see all these books there. That's my bookshelf. And uh, I would love to introduce my books to you because I love books and I love reading and I haven't read in four years. Honestly, I have not had, I haven't had time to read and that is killing me. I need to read. (laughs) And I love what you say. Yanni is saying Corona is a serious thing, but we can't let it stop life. And that is true. (laughs) <laughs> it's so romantic, the wallpaper. Can we have a room tour, please? You would, but I'm a dirty person. I haven't cleaned, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. Let's see if I'm able to show you something because I have two phones. So. You you see the pink chandelier. Um, that is uh, my favorite thing in the world, and there is some actually some some gifts from fans up there. Um, my diva awards and uh, yeah, 
and lots of books that I love. Lots of books that I love. And some shoes. Calvin, the cat shoes are there. <laughs> and I have a clock that doesn't work. And I have lots of Pip Studio things there. All with the Pip Studio uh, blanket. I love it. This is my little sofa. And we will rock you script and music sheets. I, I, I've been practicing because I believe that we're going to do the musical very soon. <laughs> I need to keep practicing. Okay. Oh, it's been so lovely talking to you. I have no idea what's the time. How long have we, have, have we been talking? 40 minutes! Oh my god. I get so excited, I, I forget about the time. Okay, let's see, can you hear the piano? It's right here. <laughs> oh, gee, the cat shoes. I know, Calvin, yeah, we need to find a photo shoot and wear them again. Where did we wear, where did I wear those? The cat shoes, oh, oh, when we announced I would be doing Eurovision. Yes, I think that was that. Do you still keep in contact with Hamish? I definitely do. I definitely do. I love Hamish. We became really good friends. Um, oh. UMK launch. Yes, that was that was the cat shoes. I'm going to show you the cat shoes. <laughs> me and Calvin we were in London walking around and then we saw these shoes and we were like we need to have those shoes and we need to wear them somewhere and then I wore these at the UMK launch and I don't think anybody noticed I think nobody's ever seen these shoes so we need to wear these again why do why do we why do we even say these are cat shoes they're not it's not even a cat is it a cat no it's like a it's like a mask or something <laughs> hey Sandra. Oh, it's so lovely that there's so many people. Did Calvin wear them? I would love to see that though. He would love Calvin would love to wear them, I know. But he 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 just doesn't so he makes me wear everything that he wants to wear. <laughs> okay, let's see. Somewhere I feel safe Where I can say I love you Take me somewhere I feel safe Where I can breathe a while Tear down my worn disguise Here
reading the comments at the same time and I'm like, I can't stop smiling because you're writing. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. That is so beautiful when you when you write to me and I and I and I sing and it makes me really inspired actually. I think we should write a song together. Oh my god, I think we should write a song together. <laughs> now that I'm saying it, I'm like, that would be amazing. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you just give, you should just give me some like some uh, sentences, and I would just write it right here. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah, Tico is here as well. Hey, Tico. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> People got really excited about Tika being here on this live. So Tika uh was my 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 girl on X Factor Finland and she won the whole X Factor Finland and she tried to get to Eurovision this year in Finland and she was so good. I loved your song and I'm actually singing it um uh, in my head a lot. Mm. <laughs> Bye, you have to go, I know, you have to, yeah. Some people have to go, you go. Um, oh my God, what do I do? <laughs> hey, Chica, lovely UMK song. I know, she is amazing. Um, I honestly I just I went a bit silent now I just got really um <laughs> I just got really emotional reading these comments oh I oh you have so many nice song requests I really I probably have to do that maybe I do that tomorrow or something um okay so you have some homework people um the homework is to send me songs you would want to hear me sing. So I can do this again maybe tomorrow and sing to you. And another homework is to send me some topics that you would want me to um, talk about uh, or write about. Um, and don't write it here <laughs> because maybe I can actually read this later. Send me uh, a message to my inbox. So, so I, I, I will read them today and hopefully tomorrow or the day after I'll be back here doing another live and I will talk about something I will see more and yeah, let's do that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it, so Reta is saying, it feels like first time, it feels First time like we're hanging out together really. So I actually feel the same because you are in my room. You are literally in my room. So it's really funny. Mm, I mean fun. It's fun. Uh, somebody's asking are you nervous before a gig? No, I'm not nervous before the gig. I, I, I feel like I'm mostly myself when I'm on stage. I feel like I'm, I'm, when I'm on stage I'm completely connected to my soul. I just feel like I am myself because, okay, I'm going to tell you something about me. So because I was bullied when I was a child and I have I have felt like I've been the outsider. So, and like when I was in, is it junior high? Like when I was like 13, 14, when I was at school, people would always just, you know, like turn their backs on me. So I would go to people and they would just turn around, turn and not, you know, talk to me. And that made me feel very, well, not wanted, you know. Um, and nowadays I am sometimes a bit shy when I'm meeting people, new people, because I'm always thinking, oh, what if they, maybe they, don't like me and they will go away and they will leave me they will turn their backs and they will just go away and 
that's why sometimes when I talk to people, I am not myself. Sometimes I'm so nervous, I w w speak like the, the, this. Uh, yeah, 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 yes, I, I'm, 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 like I can't, I can't get my words out because I'm uh, nervous, and it's not me. And I, when I, when that happens, I know. Oh my God, I am so tight and I'm stressed. And it's funny because when I'm on stage, I am. <laughs> at least I, I think I'm funny. You know, I'm because people. I, I, I feel like. When a child is born, people are funny. People are happy. They are funny. Um, they are not sad naturally. They are happy and funny naturally. They are, they, everybody, people have like sense of humor. They, they are really like bubbly and, 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 you know, excited about things and, when when you when you when you grow up and when you when you grow and people don't treat you well you kind of get nervous and i have that and i am much funnier <laughs> than that i am when i talk to people and sometimes because i'm nervous because i'm afraid of people i might i i even i i, I can seem a bit like tight or tense but that's because I'm nervous and Mary is not like that Mary has always been really people have not bullied her she's she's like she's really like <laughs> like socially very strong and I'm socially quite nervous and but when I go on stage when I'm on stage or the worries and and negative comments, everything disappears. Everything disappears. When I'm on stage, I am funny and, and, and bubbly and I am not afraid of people. And that is really interesting. You would think that when I'm on stage, I'm really worried about what will people think about me, but I'm not. And... And that, that's why I love to perform. That's why I love to sing. But what I need to work on is my social skills. I need to start believing that people like me. And I don't need to be nervous anymore. So yes. <laughs> so yes, one passion of my life is to perform and sing yes one another passion is to teach somehow teach to deliver uh to give people um something so that they can help and make their lives better and that's why that's where i need your help i want you to tell me what you would <laughs> What, 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 how can I teach you? What can I give to you? Um, hey, Sarah, are you staying in Finland? Yes, I am in Finland. I can't even travel anymore. But of course, I'm here for the musical and we, hopefully we can continue with We Will Rock You very soon. Um, and yes, yeah, somebody's saying, can you teach us some Finnish words? So before we finish this super long super long live i'm gonna teach you a finnish word uh which will be what could it be what do you want to learn i'm sorry i'm taking my notebook my beautiful notebook look at this it's match match with my wallpaper <laughs> um okay What do you want to, what do you want to learn? Any words? Oh, the problem is that I have to, it's a really, really nice notebook. No fear in Finnish. 
Hmm. Maybe we do that. Okay. No fear in Finnish. Can I? Can you say I love? Okay. Don't. <laughs> okay. Okay. What do? You, no fear. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. I'm gonna write it down. Mirroring. Hopefully. Oh my God! Am I able to do this? I think I am. I think it's gonna be good. I think so. Did I? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, sorry. No. Oh, so I have to. Sorry. Oh, yes. No is a. No is a. A. <laughs> a. And fear is. Okay. If you want to say fear separately, it's pelko. Pelko. In Finnish, P is not P. It's it's like it's not b it's not p it's like hard b <laughs> p p pelkoa pelko is fear but if you want to say no fear you have to add an a in the end finish is difficult a pelkoa a pelkoa a pelkoa no fear oh could i sing that in finnish no, I couldn't. Nosta sitä korkeammalla. Didn't you see that? I'm sorry. Ei pelkoa. No fear. No fear 2020. Uh, no fear in Spanish is no miedos. No miedos. Was that right? <laughs> um, I know it is very... This is scary time. Uh, scary times we have, but let's not... Be scared. No fear. 2020. Spring of... What did I say? Spring of love. <laughs> oh my god. My Insta live is too big and too, <laughs> too big. Too long. It's gonna end in, in two minutes. It says one minute, 50 seconds remaining. Okay. Ah, better to say in Spanish. Sin miedo. Okay, okay, okay. Sin. No, 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 no. Sin. No. Um, okay. Sin miedo, sin miedo, sin miedo. Ey pelgo, ey pelgo, ey pelgo. It could go like that in Finnish actually. Ey pelgo. It's more like not as formal as a belgo just say a belgo i have 57 seconds and this live will end because instagram doesn't let me go any further so hopefully see you another day see you maybe tomorrow send me some song requests and send me some topics to talk about and i will be here for you people because i love to talk to you so much and Terkkuja järvenpäähän. <laughs> okay, I really, really, really loved this. Thank you so much for joining me and hope to see you very soon again. Thank you. Bye. How do I finish this? I have no idea. <laughs>